purchases only at Ashley. KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Friday, August 16th. Friday sounds so good. Oh, it sounds perfect this morning. <laughs> Welcome to KCAL News at 5 o'clock. I'm Kalina Estrinos. Good morning, everyone. I'm Chris Holmstrom. Here's some of the major headlines we're falling for you this morning. The grieving family of murdered actor Johnny Wachter gets closer to closure. We're going to hear the message from his mother following arrest in the case. And five people are now facing charges in connection to the overdose death of Matthew Perry. How prosecutors believe they played a role in his passing. And electricity in Inglewood at Intuit Dome officially opens, but some Bruno Mars fans fell locked out of heaven after oh. a major glitch caused a snag in the Ooh. arena's debut. Bruno oh, Mars would be good. so fun to see, but how cool is it to like be the opener for a oh, place yeah. like yeah, that? Yeah, a brand That's new so awesome. state of the art facility. And it's Bruno Mars. I mean, yeah. he did the Super Bowl, he was in Vegas. Like, he's a showstopper. Yeah, for sure. he seems like a lot of fun. And there's going to be a new Lady Gaga Bruno Mars song coming out soon. So oh. it's going to be Look fun. Look at Chris too. in the know with all the pop culture right now. Well, he, Bruno yeah, Mars he definitely news. is our pop culture <laughs> guru. But it would be fun to see for sure. Yeah, yeah. we should all go. We Happy should. Friday, Amber. Happy Friday, guys. You guys have that extra pep in the step because it's the end of the week. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Give Bring us that forecast because we want to get out stop. so we can go to the beach or something. Yeah, you know, we're going to have a really great forecast because temperatures are actually going to cool down a little bit more compared to what we've already been dealing with before a big warm up arrives. Here's a look at our Catalina Island camera looking at the old casino. We are waiting for the sun to come up this morning just after six. And then here's a look at our now and later forecast for the basin. So you can see that temperatures this morning are in the upper 60s right along the coast. But once you head inland, we're already starting to feel slightly warmer conditions in the low 70s from Gardena all the way to Seal Beach and Buena Park. And then once we head into the afternoon, we're looking at 70s near the coast, 80s and 90s as you head inland. And then here's a look at our Orange County now and later forecast. Upper 60s for Huntington Beach right now with the high of 77. And then for San Clemente, we're looking at mid 60s with a 10 degree jump as we head toward the afternoon. But once we head inland, your Belinda, you're going to see 90s again. And then we're also looking at some mid 80s for the Irvine area. The San Fernando Valley will see temperatures into low 100s once again for areas like Van Nuys and then Chatsworth you're going to see a high today in the mid 90s so overall it's still going to be a warm afternoon but temperatures will cool down just a little bit more as we head into this upcoming weekend your weekend forecast coming up a little bit later Kalina all right Amber thank you taking a look right now at this road work we have on the northbound 15 from Oak Hill to the 395 different lanes will be closed until 7 o'clock this morning and we are starting to see slow down popping up there it's about a 13 minute commute to just go eight miles between the 138 and the 395. We also have delays on the southbound side starting to build. Right now, we have some volume, not too much of a backup by any means. 17 minute ride right now. And then here's a look at the rest of the area. The 91 looks clear at just 17 minutes leaving the Inland Empire heading into Orange County. Speaking of Orange County, here's the five in Santa Ana where it looks great. Wide open right now, leaving Anaheim all the way down toward the uh, Tustin area and beyond that. Here's a look at LA, downtown Hollywood, Pasadena, Downey, Long Beach, Torrance, all looking good but I'll have more on your travel times coming up. Well, we've got some big developments. Police have arrested four people in connection with the murder of General Hospital star Johnny Wachter. Police say Wachter was killed by thieves trying to steal his catalytic converter. And KCAL News reporter Luz Delia Caballero is live right now at police headquarters in downtown LA with the latest on the arrest and also the reaction from Wachter's mom. Luz Delia. Good morning. Yeah, there is quite a bit of relief on the mother's end, friends and family, as I'm sure you can imagine. And this uh, just comes days after friends and family were here in downtown Los Angeles pleading for the public's help in finding those responsible for the death of the star. And so 37 year old Johnny Wachter was fatally shot in downtown Los Angeles. He had just finished his bartending shift on May 25th and was walking to his car on Hope Street and Pico Boulevard when he was shot and killed by suspects as they were attempting to steal his catalytic converter. Wachter's mother now hoping the prosecutors advocate for the harshest penalties. They gave him no chance, none. Um, they're getting a chance at life that he doesn't have. They're breathing air that they don't deserve to breathe, in my opinion, and he can't breathe it any longer, and we miss him. Um, so yeah, maybe it's time that their family missed them and they go away. If the death penalty was available, that'd be fantastic, in my opinion. 
A little over a week ago, LAPD detectives released...